Hello everyone and welcome. I am here with the straight pipes and we're going to be answering the question, can you recharge a Tesla by towing it? So Jacob, where are we and what are we doing? We are at Toronto Motorsports Park. I have brought my highest mileage Ford Raptor. So I'm excited <laughs> to see what happens and if my Raptor breaks down or if we can actually tow this thing. Right on. And then the second question we're going to answer because I'm curious about this is if it's more efficient to drive a Raptor from point A to point B or use that Raptor to charge a Tesla and then take the Tesla to wherever you're going. Which one will be more efficient? So what do you think is going to happen there? I don't there? think that's going to be efficient <laughs> at all. <laughs> but I I'm think, excited to find out. <laughs> yeah, I think there is like a slight possibility that it could work. Even though it sounds like there's like a loss of energy that's going to occur, I've done a little math beforehand and we'll see what's going to happen. All right, so we are going to be targeting about 30 kilometers per hour. So let's see if we can get the slack out first. Just kind of slowly inch up. Okay, we're good and we can go. Okay, so we are towing this along and it is showing the regen working. So we've got the uh, recovery strap hooked up between his truck and my tow eye. By the way, that tow eye is a pretty cheap little piece of plastic that just kind of pops and breaks off when you open it up. Regardless, this does seem to be working and what's really cool here, I'm showing, we're traveling at about 30 kilometers per hour and I'm showing negative 945 watt hours per kilometer. So we are regenerating quite a bit of energy Actually, we just started this at 62% and we're going to try and keep this around 30 kilometers per hour. Now, I know many of you will say, hey, you should have some form of damper on that recovery strap in case it were to break. Uh, but we like to, uh, you know, live dangerously and just see what will happen. So if it does break, no big deal. The thing is, I know that the rating for this recovery strap is well beyond what we're actually doing here. So I'm not worried about it. So continuing along here, we've got negative one kilowatt hour and we have negative of 1,000 watt hours per kilometer. So we're able to regenerate one kilowatt hour traveling just one kilometer. This is super cool. Okay, going around some sharper bends here. Just making sure everything works as is. We're now at 63% battery. So we've got 1% so far going around on this track. I can't believe it's staying at one kilowatt per kilometer. That's a pretty good amount of energy that we're putting back into this. Okay, so we're now going to come to a stop right where we started. So we're just going to have one lapse worth of energy. Okay, I am coming to a stop. Okay, so we've traveled 1.4 kilometers, we've gotten 2% battery, and now we're gonna see this gauge right here and wait until it gets down to zero, meaning we've completely evened out the amount of energy we've put into it versus how much we're gonna use. So we're gonna go around this track as many times as we can on the energy that we just generated. How far do you guys think we're gonna get? Half, half a lap. Half a lap. I, I think we might get our lap back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, so we're not driving the most efficiently. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> By the way, I don't even want to tell you what mileage I got in the Raptor. <laughs> There. So we have gotten across the first straight and we still have energy remaining. That's good news. This is still hilarious. Positive. Flying. All right, we so still I think, have energy left. So you beat Yuri's estimate. Ooh, a little understeer there. Oh, this might be a little <laughs> lap back. <laughs> that's wow, insane. that's wild. I think we're gonna do it. Oh yes, we are. Heck yes, and yes. we're passing the truck. Yes, Raptor, <laughs> go Raptor. <laughs> oh, there we go. And there we are, we're so in the positives again. <laughs> so it was able to do a full lap based on the energy from being towed around with one lap and at a decent pace, which is quite cool. Does that make sense scientifically? I think it does make sense because what's happening is this thing, when you're pulling it, it's basically braking really hard. So you're pulling something that's taking the kinetic energy of what speed it's at constantly, uh, which is this weird little thing because visibly it looks like nothing's really happening, but really I'm drinking your milkshake. I'm, I'm taking your fuel <laughs> and I'm sticking it in my battery. It's quite cool. So the strap is your lifeline. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yes, exactly. 
Okay, so what we're doing now, now that we understand that you can tow it, uh, is we're going to get a baseline efficiency for both vehicles. And so we're gonna go around this track four times to see what our efficiency is. And so we're gonna get the efficiency of both cars. So four times around, we're gonna switch who's leading uh, so that we kind of account for aerodynamic differences. And we're going to be going around together so that we make sure that we're around the same speed as we do this. And so then once we have those baseline efficiencies for each vehicle, we're gonna find the efficiency of the Raptor while it's towing the Tesla. And then we're gonna do a comparison to see if you use one gallon of fuel or 3.8 liters of fuel, how far can each one of these scenarios go? The Raptor alone, the Tesla alone, and then the Raptor towing the Tesla, and then using what energy went into the Tesla to then drive. But this is to kind of simulate real world driving. We're not trying to get you know a fast lap time around here. We're just trying to see what's the actual efficiency of these two vehicles in the exact same scenario, driving in the 40 to 100 kilometer per hour range, uh, but with of course a bunch of turns. Okay, so we're gonna come to a dead stop on the starting line. I'm gonna go wide. Copy. Okay, so my efficiency was 193 watt hours per kilometer. What was yours? 22 liters per 100 kilometers. Right on. Okay, so now we have the efficiency of both vehicles. We have the efficiency of the Raptor independently, and we have the efficiency of the Tesla. It just so happens going around this track around the same speeds, this Tesla is about 10 times as efficient as that Raptor. So now the efficiency number we need to figure out is how much fuel does that thing use while it's towing this Tesla? And then from that amount of fuel, how much of it do I actually stick into my battery? So that's what we are figuring out right now. So we're just gonna go around this track at about 30 kilometers per hour and see how much I actually regenerate and then what his fuel economy is. Okay, so stop with like the front of yours, like just past those cones, I think. Okay, so we've done two laps around the track and my charging efficiency here was negative 1,026 watt hours per kilometer. So over one kilowatt per kilometer traveled, we traveled 2.8 kilometers. So now we're gonna figure out what efficiency uh, Jacob got. Okay, what was your fuel economy? Uh, are you ready for this? I don't know if you're ready. <laughs> I am ready. 69 liters per 100 <laughs> kilometers. 69, that's a pretty high number. I mean, I, I'm not sure what the exact conversion is, but somewhere between like three and four miles per gallon. So just a little bit worse than <laughs> if I wasn't towing you. <laughs> that's hilarious, awesome. Okay, so we're going to get our final results here. And so what we have here, and I'm gonna put the metric conversions all on the screen so you don't have to think too hard. Taking one gallon of fuel, we're trying to figure out, is it more efficient to just take your Raptor or to tow a Tesla and then take the Tesla? So we're starting with one gallon of fuel. And based on our testing today, this Tesla on that one gallon equivalency of energy, this is a pretty good eight right there, can go 108. 0.5, wow, look at that writing, 108.5 miles on just one gallon of fuel versus the Raptor, which was 10.7. <laughs> so literally 10 times as far using the Tesla. Okay, so here's the big moment of truth. How far you towing the Tesla and then taking that Tesla and driving with it. So the math works out, multiply that, divide by that. What do we end up getting? 18.1 miles off one gallon put into the Raptor, convert it to energy into the Tesla, and then driving. So it's more efficient to tow the Raptor with the Tesla than it is to drive the Raptor by itself. Yes. We're gonna save, we're gonna save the world. You're we're welcome. Gonna, we are saving the environment what? here. So the message we've all learned is if you have a Ford Raptor, also buy a Tesla, tow the Tesla behind it, and then you're gonna save the planet. That's that's the way. That's yeah, the key. I'm down with that. <laughs> oh, is this it's real? not bad. Yeah. It's not bad. Yes, this is okay. science. Hold on a second. Some of you may be thinking that the conclusions of this video break the laws of thermodynamics. Surely converting energy just once in the truck is more efficient than converting the energy three times, first in the truck, then into the battery, and finally from the battery to the wheels of the Tesla. But here's why the laws of physics remain intact. The Model 3 weighs about 2,000 pounds less than the Raptor, and it's far more aerodynamic. 
When you drive the Raptor with a full gallon of gas, you're moving the entire truck's weight and all of the aerodynamic drag associated with it at a very low efficiency. If you convert it to electrical energy in the Tesla, you're able to travel further with that same gallon of fuel because you're moving less mass with less aerodynamic drag at an exceptional efficiency even though you obviously did lose some energy by charging it. It's also worth noting that the 18.1 miles the Tesla travels from a gallon of charging does not include the 3.4 miles the truck traveled. So on one gallon of gas, you can actually drive 21.5 miles with both the truck and Tesla combined. Double the range of the Raptor alone absolutely fascinating and one more cool conclusion from this based on our 310 uh, watt hours per mile uh, usage rate that's the fuel economy of the tesla if you pull the car around for one lap with the raptor you can then drive at a leisurely pace for 5.6 laps wow <laughs> With one lap, one lap around, you get 5.6. Wow. Not, not a bad deal. Yeah, I'd say it's a pretty good trade off. You're really good at math. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> so, this was awesome. Thank you, Jacob, for suggesting this idea. It worked out really well. A big thank you to Toronto Motorsports Park for letting us film out here. It's been awesome hanging out with you guys and really appreciate it. This has come out really fascinating. And the good news is, we genuinely have helped the environment here. We have. Yeah, yeah. with Raptors. Yeah, yeah that's with right. Raptors. Yeah. Yeah, Ford Raptors, Teslas, electric cars, this is it, and people. Tracks. That's right. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, of course, feel free to leave those below. And also, you should head over to their channel. I'll include a little inbox card somewhere. I'll cover up one of your faces. We don't need both. And you should go over to their channel and watch their review of this Tesla Model 3. A uh, good time, and I got to go around Cliche Corner, which was a lot of fun. So, yeah, go check that out. See you later. <laughs> <laughs>